I fell in love with cybercrime cases because I love learning new things. And it's an area that is forever changing, morphing, and you can just learn new things every single day. My name is Jessica Peck. I am a senior counsel in the U.S. Department of Justice's Computer Crime and Intellectual Property Section, or CSIPS. I have been a prosecutor for just over 10 years. I started my career at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office as an ADA there. And one of the first crypto-related cases that I got to partner on came in as a kidnapping and robbery of $1.2 million worth of crypto. This uncle had been an early adopter of Ethereum. I think he put something like $1,200 in and a few years later had $1.2 million that he was storing on a Ledger Nano X, you know, basically just a USB stick. The nephew got a group of people together and orchestrated a kidnapping and burglary of his uncle. At first, I was you know, a little bit nervous. How are we going to do this case? I don't know anything about cryptocurrency, but I just jumped in with two feet and learned a ton. I remember the first time that I saw blockchain tracing software and it was mind blowing. Fortunately for me, this was a good one for us to cut our teeth on because the defendant moved the money directly from the unhosted wallet address into an exchange account in his own name. It was a great first case to learn about all these concepts. And from there, it just got much more complicated. A couple of years later, I learned about all the amazing work being done at the federal level. I came to CSIPS and I immediately got to work on policy issues, cyber issues, intellectual property issues. I can't imagine a better job. I think the superpower that's consistent across the board with agents, investigators, and lawyers that I've met in my career is a desire to learn, being willing to get uncomfortable learning new things. In a crypto case, and really any case, I love it when agents come prepared. The best agents know how to explain things in a way that a prosecutor is going to understand, a judge is going to understand. They come with receipts. So in crypto cases in particular, I definitely want to see tracing graphs, but I also want to understand why all of the pieces of a graph are important. And so the best agents that I work with are able to pick out the parts of the graph for me to explain, now this is where we need to go next. I need a subpoena for this institution, and this is the reason why. I'm really interested in hearing the reason why and being involved at every stage in an investigation. You know, not everyone in the field knows how to trace crypto. Not everyone knows how to use blockchain tracing software. And so a lot of what we're focused on is getting agents, investigators and lawyers up to speed on just how to deal with crypto. You know, how do you know that in your search warrant return there is anything tied to crypto? Most people aren't going to be familiar with alphanumeric strings and even knowing that these are invaluable or something that you should be looking at. Agents, investigators, lawyers should probably start getting up to speed on these concepts as quickly as possible because we're seeing crypto in all types of crime these days. If you want to learn about these concepts, we are happy to provide trainings not only to your districts, but one on one. So if you need something, please ask. Speaking on behalf of the Department of Justice, we want victims to know that we are dedicating our professional lives to helping you please reach out as soon as possible. The faster we get complaints filed, the faster we are able to start blockchain tracing, figuring out where funds are flowing, and trying to figure out who did this to you.